So here I have a uh, mobile communications power amplifier. As we can see, we have the receive connectors here and here. We have a antenna one, antenna two connectors, TX2, TX1. This complete unit is about 10, 12 kilograms. And as you can see, it's heavily bolted and screwed together. In between here, we have some kind of PCB. As you can see, the lines from the different connectors, they're missing on top. Somebody cut them off. Else, the whole unit itself is pretty much encapsulated. So give me a few minutes and I'll have this opened. The PCB that we could see in between the two units seems to be the power supply. As we can see, we have some 5 volt regulators sitting in a row here. And if we turn it around, it's yeah, basically not much to see. Seems to be some diagnostics input output for each, which will connect to the outside world through this connector. Okay, so now that the lid has been undone, let's take a look what is inside. If we remember what we had here at the front, we had the antenna connector, we had the transmitting connector, and we had the two receive connectors, which are cut off now. And if we take a look inside, what we will see is actually just a lot of cavities. We have the transmit signal coming in over here, goes into the first cavity here, goes around through this labyrinth out to the antenna connector. And the receiving signal goes up through the other labyrinth and into the receiving amplifier. And what we see up here in the lid is actually a whole lot of different sized studs. And all these in different heights locked with brass nuts in different positions goes right into these cylinders. And my best guess is this is for tuning the different cavities into the right frequency. The amplifier parts we have up here. Let's see if we can get a reading of that. I think it says Singer 2 XC0900A, something in that manner. It's a little hard to make out. On the back side here, behind this panel, there is the amplifier for a couple of other connectors. Goes into this, connects to this. And there's a through hole here that goes behind the board into the transmitting cavity. So, above. There's a whole different kind of parts that comes out of this. There's of course the antenna connector. There are some of the thinner cables. There are some of these feed throughs. Kind of beat it up. Must be something with attenuation and stuff like that. There is the cavities, nicely made pieces, made out of brass, silvered. And the same for the box itself, is an aluminium box that is covered in silver. So that's about it that I had to show about this 
Power Amplifier.